Did you know that before the Civil War, many enslaved people used the courts to fight for their freedom? Harriet Robinson Scott took her enslaver all the way to the Supreme Court, but has been left out of history because she was a woman. Born into slavery around 1815, as a teenager, Harriet Robinson was moved to a territory called Fort Snelling, where slavery was illegal. But Harriet's enslaver was a federal agent, and the law looked the other way. Harriet met and married another enslaved person, Dred Scott, whose enslaver purchased Harriet and took both Harriet and Dred to Missouri, where slavery was legal. But rather than live with their fate, Harriet and Dred decided to sue for their freedom, pointing out they had been illegally enslaved at Fort Snelling. So in 1846, they each filed separate lawsuits and won. However, the Missouri Supreme Court reversed the decision. But Harriet and Dredd didn't give up, and the court decided to combine their cases into one. Because Harriet was a woman and his wife, only Dredd's name was attached to the case. In 1857, the U.S. Supreme Court heard the case of Dredd Scott versus Stanford. After several days, it ruled that the Scott family was to remain enslaved, and that in future, no other enslaved people would be able to sue for their freedom. The court went even further and ruled that no black person was or could be a citizen of the United States. This would remain law until the ratification of the 14th Amendment in 1868. The landmark case made headlines across the country and put Dred Scott in the spotlight. But today, we remember Harriet Robinson Scott for the part she played in using the full weight of the law in the fight against slavery. What other black women can you think of who fought for equality in America? <laughs>